Hello, and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. As you can tell, this isn't actually quite where we left off last time. I had a bit of a recording issue. So, at once. just to give you a bit of a uh, an update on what happened, we made it to Gilded Vale, we saw a very creepy tree full of dead hanging bodies, and we discovered that we can kind of hear into people's souls. And that is a seemingly called being a watcher in this game, we don't know that much about being a watcher yet. We're currently on our way to this place, um, just beyond here to Caird Nua, which is the place where there is another watcher. We discovered this from talking to one of the hanging people. Also, in the previous one, we managed to pick up two followers. Uh, one of them How is an elf. This guy here, Alos. So we met him by saving him from a brawl, and he um, seems to have two personalities. I'm not sure what's happening there, but he was sometimes speaking with a kind of Scottish accent and being very different. That's a mystery. Hopefully we'll find out more about him while we're traveling around. Then we came across this priest <clears throat> called Durance while we were traveling along this road. He was standing by a flaming statue of, I assume, the goddess he worships, but he wanted to come with us as well, so I thought he could. He has lots of healing things, which is uh, hopefully going to be helpful. I'm here. So now let's continue to find the Watcher and see if we can find out more about what has happened to us, why we have this new ability. It will take 18 hours to complete this journey. That's a long time. It was also basically night for the whole of the walk through the other place, so... Ah, I'd be glad to. It's actually not night time anymore. That's nice. <laughs> Is that our friend? <laughs> Who are you? Kana. Just off the side of the path into Kaednu stands an imposing figure, a tall, thick-set Almau, clad in worn armour and peering up at the outer walls of the keep. In his hand is a small piece of charcoal, and it's w it works feverishly at taking notes upon a small scrap of paper. More than once, he has to reach up to prevent his colourful cap from falling off his head as he gazes upwards. Okay. What are you doing over there? Or, that mouldy brick work must be fascinating. What are you doing over there? The man looks over at you, blinking in surprise. His face splits in a wide and very toothy grin, and he waves the parchment in greeting. Killing time, if I'm honest. I've already walked the perimeter twice. There are names scratched upon some of the bricks just there. Workers and masons, I expect. Carving a little immortality for themselves. He looks up at the wall again. Expression fond. It's a fine keep, Caird Nua. Two centuries to its name, and abandoned for nearly as long. Abandoned? It shouldn't be abandoned. The person we, we've come to see is supposed to be living here. But the truly interesting part is in there, and I haven't had much luck in reaching the keep itself. I hoped to find the master of this place, ah. a man by the name of Meerwald. But it seems that he either holds his privacy most dear, or else has been devoured by his house guests. <laughs> Why would that happen? So yeah, this is the person we're going to visit. So I can tell them that I came here looking for Meerwald as well. What Ask what do you want from Meerwald, or ask why haven't you gone inside? Okay, let's just be, we'll be friendly to this person. I came here looking for Meerwald as well. Oh, truly? Then perhaps we can help one another. The grounds are infested with all manner of beasts. I've never seen the like. I didn't want to risk it alone, but you seem capable. Together, I'm sure we could manage it. And then we can both ask our questions of Meerwald. Okay. I seek a great treasure, you see. Not gold or silver, but the Tanvi Oratoa. You might call it the Book of Virtues. It's a sacred text of the Rawatai, but we possess only a fragment of it. Yeah. A year I've journeyed in search of the rest, and I uncovered evidence that leads me to believe the original lies just there, beneath the keep. Okay, so let's go meet Merwald then. Then we must find it. Why would this Tanvi Oratoa be here in the Deerwood? Oh, I'm not here to help to dig up old relics, you're on your own. I just can't help you right now, I'm afraid. I'm curious, why would it be in the Deerwood? Precisely, that is the very question, he laughs. It is a long and twisting tale, my friend, and all good chance should be... 
as all good chants should be. I can tell you more if you wish it in time. Okay, let's go meet Mel then. Excellent. Lead on, my friend, and I will be at your heels. Ah, wait. Speaking of that, I ought to warn you first. Wondrous teeth, I nearly forgot. I have, at times, been followed. It began in Adir, and in Exomital they attacked outright. I believe they do not wish for me to find what I am looking for. Okay, great. So we've, we've invited him to join us, and now we might be attacked by something else. But I wouldn't want to leave him out here to be attacked anyway, so... I say believe, but I have been told as much by one of my would-be assassins. <laughs> I pay them little mind. Humorless swords and long robes. But it's why I bought the sword, you see. And it's only fair that you should know. Hmm. I'll keep an eye out. Let's be on our way. What are a few assassins between friends? You seem very calm about this. Or oh, I don't want any part of this. I'll go on my way. He does seem very calm about it. I'm hoping that's because he's very capable and he doesn't mind the assassins. Although, if they have been speaking to him... It does make me suspect that they actually just want him to lead them to the thing rather than just kill him, but nothing we can do now. We'll keep an eye out. Let's be on our way. <laughs> I'm glad you're not discouraged. Come then. Who knows what we will find inside? Right. Yes? We have loads of people now. Let's check. Uh, Following your lead. Skills are... Second wind... March of the Camo. Oh. What is this class? He kind of uses music as, as magic, I guess? Well, it's instant. I guess we'll find out more about that when we actually have to fight something using it. At once. It looks like this place has been abandoned for years. map do I get for this? Not a lot. I do feel like the right hand side here looks suspiciously like some kind of um, arena, but I'm intrigued enough that I want to go and see it. <laughs> oh, okay, we didn't get attacked here. Crave Dalphilathili Shadow spirit. Immune to disease, ground, hobbled, poison, sickened, and stuck. Okay. How strong is this thing gonna be? I'm here. Let's use Oh, I got this new skill as well, Crucible of the Soul in the previous uh playthrough. It seems to just be um as you progress through the story. The watcher unravels the vital essence of his or her enemies. This is obviously area of effect, I'm not gonna use that right now. But uh, let's use this. I know hobbled doesn't work, but it should at least be able to do damage over time, I guess. Hi. He has arcane assault, so though that is range. Let's use one of his spells. Um, maybe we should use... Let's use his missiles. I didn't use this last time. I guess I have to wait for him to come into the area. Hmm? Huh? You can simply fight, and I think you Following your lead. do that as well, actually. Unless, um, Chanter spells. Yeah, okay, you have to wait until he's closer as well, I guess. So let's do that, and you fight with, um, with my antelope as well, and of course. Oh no, that's true. Okay, we have two things. We also have a phantom. I'm so, here. I'm guessing Phantom also is going to be... Yeah, of course it's immune to hobble. It doesn't have any legs. So let's use... Ooh, they are... Let's use my new thing, then. They are in my area of effect, so... Hi? Let's use your new thing as well. Also on that. Okay. Ah! These ones are in for a warping! I fear we've lost the angry one. I know. Is that the priest? Yes. When a party member is reduced to zero endurance, they're knocked out. This means they're out of the fight. 
but as long as your side is victorious, they will regenerate their endurance when combat ends. Even though endurance re regenerates after combat, health does not. Keep an eye on the health uh, bar to the left of a character's portrait to prevent them from becoming maimed or killed. Okay, right, so a priest not doing brilliantly. I'm not really sure why he rushed... Oh, I guess if I don't select a spell for him, then he just hits them physically? I was thinking that uh, just selecting fight for him, he would just use a, a standard magic attack, but I guess not. So let's let's just get him out of the way. He can go over there. I'm here. And then... We'll use Wounding Shot on the Phantom. Hi. And he can use... Um, kind of Flames. Oh, that, that will hit me. Um, we can do it kind of like this. There we go. <laughs> Done. Right. Oh, he has Frostblade. <laughs> okay. I don't know what we what we can do about that. I I'm think here. he's just gonna have to have frostbite. May as well continue this way since we've bothered to fight these things. Oh, is this an abandoned building? No, we can't go in there. Nothing to loot. Oh, we can look at this. This trapdoor has been battered by the elements, tugging on the rusted handle, only produces heavy rattling. Okay, that's not very helpful. A small flame blight. Okay. Maybe this was the wrong way to go. Yes. We might try the other direction. But for now... We'll use that on you. Yes. Um, it's kind of in the area. Should be fine, I think. What? He can just... Oh, actually, he should probably use... Does he have a health that affects himself? Allies. Second wind. Um, oh yeah, there we go. 28 endurance on self. Following your that. lead. And he can use... I guess... Mm, no, it's too, too far away. So nothing. Else. Lava room beyond sea. No use. Okay. Uh, maybe focus on this one for now. Yes. Because... What is that? Caster's hands become so cold as to freeze and they touch. Does freeze damage to target and reduces accuracy. I don't think that's going to work very well on this. Are we in that? No. I guess I could move him up, but... We'll use, try using that again. That did quite a lot of damage. What? And he can use... Maybe not burn damage. <laughs> there are so many... So many things to remember. Or twice the health of allies. Place the magical seal on the floor. Um, you know, maybe... We might, um, <laughs> might leave him out of it, actually, for now. Antelope's doing okay, so that can continue. Okay, we have one there. And Tito. Okay. Certainly. Yes. Yes. They drop primal flame. Is this just maybe I can use it for crafting, but it's Oh, did that go to my hand? Oh no, it's an ingredient. Okay. I'd be so glad it's to... added to stash. Okay, there is somewhat of a path now. Leave our looks... village! We've done nothing to you! 
Well, you, you, you are can't attacking. do this. Spectral smoke churns all around you. At first, you can see nothing except the haze, but gradually you make out the wizened, hunched shape of an old elven man. His face and bone-thin arms are smeared with paint. You can't do this, he shakes his head, spitting the words at you. I can ask, do what? Or I can just listen. Do what? This is our village, our home. The Nine Claws have lived here almost 50 generations. We were here long before your kind brought war to our lands. You can't just burn it all. Oh, interesting. <coughs> have mercy, soldier. Our warriors have all gone. <coughs> you can't burn us all because of them. I guess that's what happened to these people. <coughs> <laughs> well, that was incredibly creepy. Is this where I've got to go? 